Righto guys, first off, let's start with sorry about the nasally voice. Got a bit of this flu going around at the moment, so that's just a gym dandy. Secondly, never do this one while your bed's still attached to your printer because you're going to just throw some metal dust all through everything, all through your fans and all through your equipment. Um, I've chosen to do it because I've soldered everything on and I'm lazy and I will have to fix any problem that arises in the future. So first off, remove all of your uh, wing nut, um, all of them off there. Grab a screwdriver or a drill, probably better off with a screwdriver than a drill. Drills more likely to, again, cause, cause potential issues, but again, I'm lazy and quick way is a good way uh, for a quick toot. Um, so grab, uh, grab your uh, screwdriver or drill, pull all your screws out, and, uh, and then we'll move on to the next stage. So make sure you, you pull the, the screws out as you go as well. Uh, and that'll that'll just relieve tension on those on those on the bed, so it doesn't push up into your nozzle. So as you pull one out like this, as as you can see, the bed's dropped there. So re repeat all the way around. Once you've got everything nicely removed, carefully, and I mean carefully, tuck away your heated bed there. Now again, mine's soldered. My solder points, uh, uh, my my plugs removed, and mine's soldered. So I've got to be careful, careful not to damage those solder points, so I've just actually tucked it up against the wall there to keep it right out of the way and out of harm's way. Now we've got to the H plate. This is where we really need to do most of our work here. So essentially what we need to do is firstly give everything a good clean out. Uh, this is a great time to get into all those nooks and crannies that you probably don't always take the time to get to. Well, none of us do because it's extremely hard to do so. Um, so now's a great time to go through all of that as well. Now, I'm also actually, in fact, going to get good access to my bearings and give them a little bit of a lube while I'm at it. So I've got my PTFE, I'm pretty sure it is called, um, and, and I'm just going to hit all those little bearings underneath, again, that are hard to get to. Uh, you can get to them from the outside, but I'm going to get to them from the other side as well, from the inside. Uh, my key with these sorts of spray nozzle, tubey type things is just, just give really light application. Don't give a good squeeze, don't spray it everywhere. Even though this is the best for this type of application, least damaging if it does cause overspray, you still want to minimise as much as you possibly can. So really just depress the nozzle enough to almost just ooze it out into the into the area that you're applying. Let it set itself, it will do so, and then move move it around to, to kind of to, to get it about. Now grab your drill, uh, this is a 3mm drill bit, uh, snapped off, yes, 3mm um, drill bit. Now just really gently, the reason it's jumping is because I'm not pressing down, I'm just letting it just guide itself and just slowly working now I'm through and just again, really gently. You don't want to misshape anything or bend anything or do anything silly or break any of the frames or you know, just, just go really easy. Let the drill do the work, let it, let it slowly work its way through. Don't smash it on high speeds again because you'll because you'll end out with issues. Um, grab your grab your dust buster. Now again, you're not doing this inside actually, so so you don't have your dust buster. Uh, you, you, you're outside in your work shed, away from any of your electronics and and etc etc. So yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're on the same page. Cool. Um, grab one of your screws and make sure it does feed through nice and smooth if you need to I'm not too sure about this one if you need to give it a little bit more give it a bit of it to give it another hit and just again Don't push just let it sit in the hole and just slowly slowly just just gore it out Just it's a very very smooth very smooth operations easy done do the same with all four Right, oh, now it's time to reapply. So again, we're grabbing our heated bed, and again, not to damage any of our solder points or anything along the way, really carefully bring it through. Grab all your screws. You've got your um, you've got your pre-made um, bed leveling knobs ready and waiting. Um, now the key is again, once again, is feed your screw through the spring or your spring and then the, 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 the screw, either one that works, and feed onto your, uh, your, your, your um, bed leveling knob. Now do each one just a little bit, make sure they all go in nicely and everything's working out. Again, you're going to need to be really careful with your extruder. 
Uh, if you need to, you can sort of depress the springs and, and move them about and, and do what you need to to get them in place. Now, that's enough for now because we're going to skip forward and I actually figured out what I found the best way was. About, uh, about here, I realised that I was onto something, <laughs> that, that, that I'd been wasting a lot of time, both times, this is the second time I'd actually done this mod and I'd been wasting a lot of time. So the key is A, to grab your, 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 your bed levelling knob, your, your adapted mod, um, grab yourself the fitted screw and just feed it through the hole, sorry my hands are in the way here, but just feed it through by hand, make sure you guide it through nicely, give it a good remount. Now, number one, that's going to make it a lot easier to make sure you've got it right the first time when you do put it in, in place right here. Secondly, hold everything in place and use the screwdriver to, to, to thread it in for the first few rounds as opposed to trying to thread the screw. It's, I don't know what I was thinking. Don't try and hold the screw by hand and, and, and screw the knob. No, that's foolish. Hold the knob. It's a much bigger surface area. You can see I'm, I'm moving through it a lot smoother and a lot easier now. It's, yeah, so that's the key. Save yourself some time, guys. Hold the knob and the, the heated bed and the spring, compress everything, hold it in place right where it needs to be, then use the screwdriver to guide the screw into the into the bed leveling knob and and screw it away for the first few. That's absolutely the key. Uh, tip of the day for me, yes. We're pretty much done here. Now, all we need to do now essentially is thread everything down nice and evenly. Don't buckle anything, don't over tighten one before the others because it's an aluminium heated plate most of the time for us, most people. Um, I'm pretty sure mine is anyways, I'm not even not percent sure. Um, but anyways, don't, don't do any damage, just take your time, go through. Um, and we'll, we'll actually see a little bit of a difference on how easy it is to, to level a bed now. Uh, it's bearing in mind that obviously the bed is cold, everything is cold, so this isn't an actual leveling. I'm not going to print on this, but it's just a mock, mock, mock leveling. Um, yeah, let's let's move through and see. Right, everything's actually in place. Let's go for a bed leveling system. Right, we're pretty far off. That's uh, okay. Uh, yeah, no, 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 that's okay further down towards the back, but alright, let's, let's kind of get to this. A uh, couple of quick turns here, a couple of quick turns there, yes, I always do forget which way is tight, which one's loose, but yeah, you get the idea. It's, it's, a, it's a hell of a lot easier than, than going through a lot of tools, holding a lot of tools, uh, you know, little, little uh, wing nuts, which annoy the hell out of me personally, but, but that's just me. Guys, thanks for watching. Please comment with anything else you'd like to see in the future. Uh, subscribe if it has been helpful because there's going to be a lot more sort of little bits of tips and tricks this related and other things related along the way. And um, yeah, get involved. Join the, join the conversation. Join the, join, join the subscribe list. And um, yeah, hope to hear from you guys. Thank you very much.